Oh. He's joined with the Bokers. Oh. Oh, never mind. Not just June. Wow, that was really good vocal. Hey guys, it's me, Cruel, back again with another action video on the channel, and welcome back to another icon title track called But You. Welcome to all iconics. And I'm late, I'm 10 days late. Uh, today is the catch up day, the day also before I leave to Cape of Flex and probably die there, uh, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, this is Icon, I wanna check it out. I have not heard anything about it, I have not heard the song, not seen the video, let's get into it. If you wanna see more Icon reactions, there's a place in comment. I have not reacted to too, too much Icon because I knew pretty much all of their songs before I started making reaction videos. Um, I was a big YG stan for the first few years I got into K-pop ever since 2016 and until 2019 pretty much. I was almost only YG, so, yeah, I know them quite well. Anyway, let's get it. Although that only really carries over for the music in Icon. I don't know the member faces that well, except Bobby and BI is too, and June, I guess. Yeah, that's not so much. I'm a bit sorry about that for sure, but I never really did that. What is this, by the way? This is different. We're just mor modern dancing in a disco or something. Okay. Retro vibes. Mm-hmm. Going to meet the right one. Oh. So are they either saying instead of relationships, I'm just gonna have fun and you know meet people and hook up and then forget them again and do that again and again and again, but then kind of feel empty about it? Is that what they're saying, or are they kind of saying like their approach and relationships changed from trying to find the one, and uh, compared to now when they're just trying to find someone to be in a relationship with that is exciting, ex exciting, exciting, and that's enough for them, right? Like they're not trying to like put all of these criteria on the list and like check all of the boxes and you know only commit to someone that is like where you think you might want to marry that person at some point is it an approach to relationships or is it just you know i don't want relationships kind of thing anymore why am i like this love be like that I wonder how Bobby raps on this. Does he even? That was a Bobby moment to come in, but he is not. Okay. So then I was really trying to concentrate, trying to figure out if he's kind of sing rapping or what is he really doing, right? I think he did sing rap. He started off like singing, then had like one or two rap lines, then sang like one or two more again, then had like more rap, then more singing again. So it was like really melodic rap slash sing rap. Um, that is, I think, first I hear that from Bobby, maybe. I don't really remember another case like this. That was fun though. At, at least on the icon songs. I think in his solo songs he does do that uh, here and there. Ah, this is the chorus, right? I don't know how I feel about it. That's like the only part I don't know. What to think about it? Oh, more Bobby singing, like actual singing. 
flashing lights are warning, I guess. Oh, he joined with the bogus. Oh, oh, never mind. Not just June. Wow, that was really good vocal bar or line or whatever, high note. Wow, okay. Was that the end of the bridge? Yeah. It's like whenever they start singing, I need you, baby. It's the part where I'm kind of getting like, oh, I don't know about that. I don't know if I want to be needed, you know? <laughs> it's like uh, everything else is actually fitting quite well. And I enjoy it. Just that part, I don't feel somehow. Yeah, I think that's my opinion about it. Didn't really change much. Anyway, that's the fourth mini album called Flashback as well, which is pretty cool. They have a new album again. So shout out to Icon, shout out to YG for making that possible, I guess. Um, that is my reaction to But You by Icon. Well, my opinion on this is, as I said, the I need you baby kind of part is a bit, I, I don't want to call it cringe at all, but it's just kind, like the way they sing it is a bit weird. Um, trying to be cheesy on purpose, that's what it feels like. But in general, the song is very interesting for various factors. If you like take this as a title track from Icon and compare it to a lot of other Icon title tracks, or just in general YG title tracks, this is different because not only do they not ever really do this retro concept, like it's so rare if ever that happened. Like, definitely Icon didn't do that, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I don't really remember others doing that either in YG. That is that is that was a curveball right from the start. And then also, YG is not too big on bridges. They usually cut the bridge short and they or or the last chorus and they have like this chanting outro right, which wouldn't really fit on the song. So I was really really curious if they would still do it to like brute force it, but they didn't. So they just didn't do it, which is also very rare for the YG title trick. And for especially an icon title track, it is very very rare to not have that. Even like in the ballady songs, they at uh, ballady title tracks they have like a cheer up chanting kind of part in the end. For the most part, I mean this is I think not the first time they didn't do a chanting at the end, but it's definitely one of the only times. So it's pretty rare and unexpected more so. So um, just out of the standpoint, there is definitely a very very new vibe from them, which I have to you know, give some time and try to sort it out what that means to me and what the song really does or not. I don't know. Um, I'm surprised. I'm shocked. That's kind of what it is. And that's kind of where I'm leaving it. You know, um, I don't really know what else to say. So thank you so much for watching my reaction. I hope you enjoyed either way, though. If you did, leave a like on the video to support me. And if you, you know, want to see more icon reactions, there's a playlist in comment, as I said in the beginning. Plus, I will be having, or I am having, uh, a Patreon that I have been doing for almost two years now, so there's uh, almost a thousand videos on there, I would guess, probably not quite, but it's a lot, I've reacted to a lot of TV shows, K-dramas, done a lot of last stage uh, reactions as, uh, and other reviews, so you can find all of those on there if you want to check it out, or, you know, link in the description, or also on my website, cruelteamer.com, if you click on Patreon, there's an overview of all of the stuff I've done. Yeah, have a nice day, see you next one. Peace. <laughs>